All right, a very special segment here of In the Know. Nadine Powell, Chris Murphy with you. It's not a Category 4 hurricane. It's not an EF4 tornado. Nadine, it's a... G4 geomagnetic storm. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that began last night. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to peak during the day, Murphy's Law, mm -hmm. during the day. <laughs> but it will still be strong enough this evening. And what exactly happens for this to occur? Okay, well, we need the sun for everything. Mm -hmm. We get what we call the coronal mass ejection. Let's just pause on that for a moment. The greatest three words in the English <laughs> language. All of those particles emitted from yes, the sun, indeed. directed towards Earth, Correct. being captured by our magnetic shield. Thank or our goodness magnetic for field. that. Yes, because it protects us from all of that radiation. All right, so this is the science behind it. Right. This is what it looks like in the night sky if you're lucky enough to see it. So you get some incredible footage, Nadine. Oh my goodness, and I have not yet been able to view the aurora. Come on. I went chasing one yes. time and completely missed me. I don't know, maybe I was asleep or It something. was a failed chase, <laughs> yes. was it? That's okay. Mark Robinson knows a thing mm. or two about a failed chase, by the way. <laughs> uh, so let's, let's talk about where we may see that. That's okay, he's been successful more often. Uh, so there is uh, the likelihood that uh, it's going to occur again today. Mm -hmm. tonight and this is going to be a powerful one in anywhere within this if you've got clear enough skies and you're away from that light pollution you have an opportunity to see the aurora borealis so will the skies cooperate mm -hmm. well let's start off first All with right. a look at western canada we've circled some areas mm -hmm. where we've got some breaks in the cloud that we might be able to see it yep. southern prairies uh, into southern manitoba maybe across extreme northwestern ontario too. There, there's going to be a lot of teams out there i know team tanner will be yes. out there for yes. sure so yes. they're two of the finest photographers in this country so hopefully uh, dar and tree if you're watching you'll send stuff our way mm -hmm. all right across the east uh, lots of cloud cover but mm -hmm. maybe a few breaks we've got a pair of lows here and they've been bringing in some you know rain and snow and some gusty winds yeah so that's the beautiful side of it but it there is. also are some negative impacts to geomagnetic storms Chris indeed so I'm wondering this what happened to me so yesterday I had a brief power outage mm -hmm. in my my location and then it came back on and my internet was down I called Bell mm -hmm. they couldn't fix it they said go get a new uh, modem mm. so I was then I'm at the store and I'm getting like three and a half hours that I'll never get, <laughs> You'll back. Never get back but anyways so I'm wondering if that maybe was related to it yeah because we're such mm. a technology driven society yeah. we have impacts of the power grid to communications totally. so we can have some interruptions there all right overnight if you're going to be doing some uh, some uh, geoman geomagnetic storm chasing mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, pretty cool temperatures uh, but not overly cold, but still, you want to be, if you're going to be outside, you want to be dressing for the elements. Let's talk precipitation now, uh, Nadine. Let's begin in the west. We've got a lot of high pressure for the prairies, but the BC coast looks like rain showers coming on back. Yeah, rain moving in for us throughout the day today, and that'll continue for us into Thursday, maybe even into Friday yes. as well. Mm -hmm. And then as we head into our Friday, you'll mm -hmm. see the tail end of that cold front oh, bringing yeah. some snow down towards southern Alberta. You are going to have schnook winds in Alberta on Thursday. And and then Friday, that's done. So temperatures are going to drop by almost 10 degrees and could get some snow. But heavy rainfall, including Metro Vancouver, especially the North Shore, the northeastern areas, right up to House Sound. Rainfall warnings in place. All right. And across the east, we've got some scattered rain and snow showers on Terra, mm. Quebec. We've been dealing with some stormy conditions across Atlantic Canada. Yes. So still, you see another system rolling in mm. as we head through our Friday. So watch for more rain and snow and winds through the region, Chris. All right. Well, at least in Ontario, your temperature are going to start climbing for the next couple of days and that means the snow you've been seeing will be melting and changing to rain.